It's new102.com. I'm uh, Corey. I'm the theater reviewer and midday guy and just all around theater junkie. And I'm excited because I'm uh, in the studio with two cast members from Come Fly Away. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Corey. Dude. Introduce yourselves. My name's Chris. I'm Ramona. And you guys play uh, Marty and Betsy. That's right. In Come Fly Away. Okay. Uh, I like to put people on the spot and make them completely uncomfortable. Oh. The bat. So, uh, <laughs> which which one of you wants to give me a synopsis of Come Fly Away in thirty seconds or less? <laughs> he nods at you, yeah, and not me. Yeah. All right, you're on, Ramona. All right, Come Fly Away is a musical that is told through dance and Frank Sinatra's voice. Frank Sinatra, we've extracted his voice from old recordings. He's accompanied by a live fourteen piece band, and he narrates the evening. And the story is basically four different couples that fall in and out of love over the course of an evening. All of the ups and downs of the relationships, you know, breakups, fighting. There's a lot of drinking and partying that happens. And then some beautiful moments that come out of that. Um, Time! That was good! Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> great, great. That was, that was pretty quick. That was right. really good. Uh, this one's for either of you. How did, how did you find your way into Come Fly Away? Like, how did this, how did this happen? Because neither of you were in the original Broadway cast, correct? Right. right. So, you, you, how, how, well, I mean, how did that even come to pass? Hey, you're going to be on tour. Well, we, we both auditioned for the show, mm-hmm. and um, I think it was Love at First Sight when Ramona and I auditioned together. It they uh, <laughs> put us together to partner, and, and just this, it all came together from there. Instant chemistry there, I huh? Think so. It was. It was. Uh, Ramona, th- you mentioned earlier that the show has no dialogue, you know, and and I you know Correct. I saw it on opening night, no talking except for uh, Old Blue Eyes himself. Uh, how do you give your character life without talking? How did how did you how did you manage to do that? Well, I think um, the the Twyla Tharp's choreography um, it's very unique to a musical theater show in that it's very descriptive you know mm-hmm. it's like physical acting we're not speaking but there are some pedestrian moments there are some and even in the more dancing you know complicated choreography we're still we're always telling the story we're mm-hmm. always you know developing what, what's happening on stage what's happening between these characters did you find that challenging at first not really, actually. Um, You're like, I got this. <laughs> Please. Well, I think just like love is a universal language, I think right. so is dancing. Absolutely. So uh, I think the, the verbal part of it is unnecessary when you're coming to uh, the show. Chris, I was doing my research on you. And, uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I found that video you made in high school. No. Um, <laughs> that's another show. You're, also, you're a Zumba instructor? I am, yes. <laughs> that's I like love when you it. Google He's you, amazing. that's like the first thing that comes up. Oh, Zumba! Yeah. yeah, well, I, I've, I've become pretty popular in New York City He's a Zumba, Zumba superstar, actually. Uh, what, tell those of us who don't know what that is, what's Zumba? Uh, Zumba is basically a... Uh, Dance party, uh, fitness class. Oh, that's um, right up yeah. your alley. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. I do. Yeah. You follow, and uh, it's all about having fun. I love it. Weight. And you're and you're you're one of the uh, big Zumba instructors in New York. So yeah. your your class must be missing you oh, uh, miss while you're them. on tour. Uh, Ramona, it, I, I googled you too. Uh, you're you're <laughs> like a class. You're you're very classically trained ballet dancer. I am. Yes. How did how does Come Fly Away and Twyla Tharp? her choreography fit into that because it it has elements of the classical but it's it's also very contemporary very uh not ballet in a lot of ways too how did how did that how does that work for you well i i also did a lot of modern i went to nyu and we did a, it's a very contemporary um dance program mm. as well so i have the classical ballet and i was exposed to a lot of contemporary movement but twyla's work is so unique i mean i don't think there's it's not any one specific dance style. You, right. know, you kind of have to just be up for up for anything. Each number that we do is totally different, even from the last. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ballet, but there's also so much partnering, and it's not really classifiable. In, in no, it's really ways. not. Yeah. It's not. It's not genre specific. Yeah. It's kind of all yeah. over the board. Okay, little spoiler alert. Uh, Chris, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Yeah, uh, I know where this is you going. Know where the, yeah, you're probably reading over my shoulder over here. Uh, <laughs> you spend like half of the show in your underwear. Yeah, okay? dude. How, how, how'd you react when they were like, but you got the role, and by the way, you'll basically be exposed to the entire audience uh, for 30 minutes. You how, know did, how did that happen? Like, I, it, I had seen the show before um, So you're prepared Broadway, for that? So I was a little prepared for it, but you know what? It's a delicious moment where you don't really know how the audience is going to react, but you hope for the best. <laughs> It's always those older, like, Sunday afternoon matinee crowds. They <gasps> Absolutely. And you know what? Attack. Every single show, there's someone who says, I love those underwear. And I'm like, come backstage. I'll leave you a signed copy. <laughs> <laughs>
they, 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 they were nice. I like them. <laughs> okay. How long, how long has the tour been going on, on? How long have you both been on the tour here? Since July, I think last July. Oh, wow. So right. this has been your life for uh, almost a year now. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. Uh, what's your favorite memory of the tour so far? Oh, that's really hard. Like just that moment where if you had if the tour ended today, God forbid, the tour ended today, and you had to say, "Okay, I remember when." What is that moment? What what was what was the the big thing that stands out to you so far? We had a couple. We had one performance. We were in Santa Barbara. We had a one night performance, and it was crazy. You know, we didn't know our way around backstage. We literally mm-hmm. like we were on a bus all day. We got to the theater. We get there. We're like trying to find our dressing rooms. Trying to find you know the stage. How do you get from one side of the stage to the other? And the audience was amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those, you know, it felt so rushed, thrown together backstage. But on stage, there was this beautiful connection with this audience. They were right there with us. They were laughing, you know, hysterically. They were applauding. They were in it. You know, they were, we were sharing a a really great moment. I would say that's one of my favorites. That's good. That connection's important. You, Chris, anything stand out to you? You know what? I I just really love going from city to city, and the first night at, of every city is pretty magical. Absolutely. Um, and and it's just sort of us infusing our magic and in life into the theater, and that's really special to me. Uh, have you had a chance to explore Cleveland at all, either of you, since you got here? A little bit. We went down to East Fourth Street the the first day. We had uh, dinner at Zola. Oh yes. I like that place. Yeah, East 4th is cool. Make sure you check out the Rock Hall. Everybody talks about yeah, that. Yeah, I really want to see that. I'm going to do that That's soon. a lot of fun. You guys have a lot of great stuff, uh, walking distance from the theater down there, too. All right, uh, in closing, why should people spend their hard-earned dough to come see Come Fly Away? Because <laughs> it's sexy and virtuosic, and you don't want to miss it. Well, I think he made some words up there. but We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll let Anne and to see Christopher running around in rather stylish and sought-after boxer briefs yeah, uh, for half the show. Thank you guys for coming in and talking to us. We appreciate it. 